and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, welcome. I'm so glad to have you. My name is Kat and I am a flight attendant with a major US airline. So you guys know I love to do flight attendant content. I like to take you on my trips. I like to talk about flight attendant life, but also on occasion, I love to do videos like this where I do like Timu or Amazon hauls. Now I did take everything out of like the big package it came in just to make sure everything had arrived before I filmed the video, but it's all individually wrapped in its own stuff and I haven't opened that. So this is gonna be kind of like my first look at it as well as yours. I am gonna have everything linked down below in the description box if there's anything that I got that you are also looking for. But without further ado, let's go ahead and jump in. Now, this first thing was the only thing that showed up in its own package away from everything else. And I already took a little peek just to see what it was. And you guys, I'm actually really impressed. So for me, spring is like one of those things where it's like, still cold but also warm it kind of goes back and forth so like when it came to like clothes and fashion and stuff i got a little bit of both just because you you kind of flip flop but i thought these are so cute and i've already got like an idea for like an outfit in mind and they are these adorable pointed boots this is like one of my favorite types of shoe i love to wear these with like a parachute pant like a like a jogger style like a leather jogger i just think these are so adorable i love like the beading detail here like the little pearls the only thing i will say about these is they're a little bit like tricky like they don't really have a bending thing kind of right here so you might have to break them in just a little bit but other than that they're they fit really well and they're pretty easy to walk in now to go along with these i also had an idea in mind when i saw this i was like i think these can be really cute together i thought this was adorable i love the beading on it i love the detail the material feels good the only thing that i'm like not a fan of is I noticed like the detailing's not in the back. It's only in the front. So I'm a little bit bummed out about that. It looks like they're kind of like glued on. There's just a little bit of glue here. So I'm not sure if you wash this, how well it's gonna hold up in the wash. But you guys like, look, look at this pair together. Like, look how cute this is. I feel like the vision would definitely come together just like the detailing match. Moving on. I ended up getting this first cap. I love to wear hats, but I also love to um, wear them to the gym. So besides just in my everyday, I feel like it's one of those fun things that like, it really kind of styles an outfit and puts an outfit together when you do wear a hat. But I do like to work out in hats as well. So, so far I really like the material on it. It does have like an adjuster in the back, so you can definitely put this up and like adjust it. And it also has the little slot right there that you can put any extra material whenever you are adjusting it. So it just tucks in there because I know I didn't show that. But I did end up wearing this hat yesterday to the gym and I really, really liked it. This is like super cute. I kind of love that with like the little Vans hoodie. I think that's so cute. I also got another ball cap and this one's just plain black, but it does have the LA detailing on it. I just think this is so cute. I love black on black. That's like one of my absolute favorite things. I feel like it looks so chic. Now this one also has an adjuster, but it's like a little bit different. So this one you would like pull to adjust it and then you can like tuck the extra strap back there. I definitely need to adjust it a little bit more, but I think this one's also really cute. You can do like little pigtails or something with it. Love it. And then I usually just throw like my big, my Bose headphones over whenever I'm going to the gym. All right. And then I have another hat. Now this one is so funky and stuff. I know this one's not going to be everybody's like cup of tea. They do have like plain colors and stuff, but I kind of wanted to just go for it. So I got this black and white fuzzy hat. It does have like an adjuster. I can see it straight away where you can um, pull this to tighten the hat along your head. I'm just not even gonna adjust it and just try it on as is. Oh, uh, I love it. I actually love this. It kind of gives me like um, Pam Anderson vibes a little bit, like old school, old school vibes. But I actually kind of think this is cute. It's very chic and very like playful. I know it's not gonna be everybody's cup of tea, but like I can definitely get down with this. Like I just think like this is fun. All right, is my hair, is my hair back to normal? I'm not really sure, but we're just gonna go with it. Now that's the rest of the hats, but I did get, these headbands, which I'm excited about just to like wear them lounging around. Now they do have like a little twist knot on here. I love the detailing of that. I think that's like super, super cute. And then it has like the little brown, like more like Louis Vuitton looking, looking one. These are thick. 
These are heavy duty, like thick headbands. Like the quality is actually really, really nice on these. All right, let me see if I can not make an absolute mess and, and put it on. Oh, I love it. I love it. I think these are so cute and you can definitely do like a big old messy, messy bun. Oh, oh, I'm gonna have to get some more of these for sure. And it's actually really comfy and really warm. I'll for sure be keeping my eye out for, for a few more of these. These are 10 out of 10 to me. Now, another little accessory piece I got, and this is like throwing it back to the 90s, is I got a choker. Now, this is like the standard basic choker. I did see that they had other chokers that um, had like clips, like clasps in the back, but I don't really love those because you constantly have to adjust them, but also your hair can sometimes get caught in them. So this is like that traditional looking, looking one, just like this. Ooh, cute. It's actually really loose. I'm kind of surprised like it doesn't feel like overly tight or, or like restraining. I think it was like really, really really affordable. Now, the one thing I will say is I think you need to be careful about stretching. Like, I think you have to like be careful not to, not to stretch it out. So just, just be fair warned. But I think it was also really cheap. Now, this one caught my eye immediately when I saw it. I was like, this is exactly what I was like looking for and more. I have been using a lot of micellar water with like the little pads to take your makeup off. I got a big pack of like these makeup erasers and I am so impressed with the size because my other makeup erasers are so much smaller and these are like really big. Like I feel like I can actually use just one um, and, and take all my makeup off. Like I really, really like the size, but they also have so many like fun prints and stuff. Ooh, I'm, I'm in love. Okay, so here's the first print. Here is the second. And then we have some butterflies. And then some more stars. More butterflies. Another one of these ones. I'm not sure what this one is. Just like random white and gray spots. Ooh, this one's so cute. Definitely love this one. They feel also really, really plush and really good. And then have this little checkered print one. And then last but not least is this cute little gray one. So I really, I'm hoping they work really well because they feel fabulous and I love the size. This is this is definitely a 10 out of 10 purchase so far. As long as they work and like actually work well with micellar water, very, very, very impressed. Okay, so the next thing I got are two different handbags. Now one of them, I already got it in the shade blue and I love it so much that I went and got it in another color. There's actually four colors, but only two have been available so far, but I'm really waiting for the black one to drop. And it's this cute Von Dutch bag. Now, is it actually Von Dutch? I don't know. I, I don't know because I've never really seen Timu sell products. What is it called? Um, I'm kind of blanking. Counterfeit. I've never seen Timu really selling counterfeit products. So I don't know if they partner with Von Dutch or not. Judging by the price, I don't think so because Von Dutch is still very, very pricey. But as soon as I saw it, I was like, I have to have it. Now, I love Von Dutch personally. I feel like Von Dutch is coming back. I feel like it's almost coming back in like a little bit of an ironic way, at least in my opinion. Maybe I'm completely wrong here, but like I know like Paris Hilton really popularized the brand and there's like a whole documentary. The documentary is absolutely insane if you've never seen it. I don't really remember all the details, but I do remember it being really crazy. But here is the bag and it's so cute so as you can see it has like the von dutch like logo on it which is where i'm not sure but i loved it in blue so i want it in pink and then when you open the bag up it has like plenty of room inside and it also has a strap as well so you can use like a long strap but i just feel like this is like so cute and you can definitely like put it together with like some other funky patterns and just like make like a whole fit out of this. Now I did get another handbag. I wish they would have put a little bit more stuffing to kind of hold its shape, but I love all of the studs on it. I love all of the detailing. And then it has a pocket in the back. So if you want to put like your phone and stuff in the back, you could do that. Yeah, the zipper works pretty good. And then it opens kind of like how like a, a cosmetic bag opens. And then it does have a strap in there so you can use a long strap on it. I'm gonna take all the stuffing out. 
And then inside there is like another pocket, but this is definitely a bag. Like I can take my camera with my lens on it, like on a layover and there's lots of space in the bag. Okay, so moving on, I actually wanna use this straight away. So I had a phone case on my phone with my pop socket, but the case, it's finally just getting to the end of its life. I've had it for quite a while and the case is kind of like peeling up. So I went and ordered a phone case. Now it was hard to find phone cases with pop sockets on Timu, but they do have tons and tons and tons of different phone cases. So if you're looking for a phone case, like an affordable phone case, they have a bunch, but I really did want one with a pop socket again. And again, I loved the black on black. So this is Leopard. It kind of reminds me of like my cosmetic brand, Cat Eye Cosmetics. And then it has the little pop socket with the with the sticker so you can adjust it and put it anywhere you want. The pop socket is giving a little bit cheap to me. I actually like the phone case, but I kind of like like the traditional pop socket in that sense. Ooh, it's actually very cute. It's actually very cute. It holds the phone really really nicely. I don't know. This is the only part that's concerning me though. So I guess we'll have to we'll have to see how that goes, but super cute. Okay, now moving on to some of the outfits. Ooh, I think I know what this is. So like I said, joggers are my absolute favorite and springtime is like one of those things where it's like warm, then it's cold, it's warm, then it's cold. And I feel like this is like the perfect pant when it gets a little bit warmer because like they're thin. Straight away, the quality is really nice, is really nice. And I really like the material. It feels good. It feels like very high end. It feels expensive, but also the color is stunning. The color is giving like luxury. It's giving very rich. I really like that, that shade of green. It does have two pockets on the side and then has the cuffed pant at the bottom but I'm impressed with this. I'm, I'm very, very impressed. These feel really, really good. Okay, now the next thing I got is a skirt, and I believe I got this in, in black. I'm pretty sure I ordered it in black. I'm gonna have to go back and look. Maybe I did get it in white, but it's like this really cute tulle skirt, and I kind of feel like this with like a band tee and like some vans, or like kind of taking it like with a beanie. Like for me, it would go more like punk rock. I know you can definitely go more like princessy vibes with this because it's so like girly and so fluffy, but I kind of like like that juxtaposition, like the contrast and like doing something a little bit more punk with it. That would be my idea, but actually the quality is nice. Now because it's white, I think she's giving see-through a little bit. I don't know if you guys can tell, but I do think it's giving see-through. I think you'll have to wear a slip if you get the white color. Okay, so moving on to the next thing, I got a coat. Now this one had really good reviews, which I actually look at the reviews and I tend to try to find things not just with reviews, but also with pictures so I can look at the pictures because sometimes I really like stuff, but if there's no reviews and there's no photos, especially photos, then I'm kind of like, mm, I'm not gambling with my money. Now Timu does have a really good return policy. So if you do get something that wasn't what you were after, you should have an easy time returning it. But I got this leopard coat and I, I kind of love this. Now it is a lightweight coat. This is not heavy duty. This is definitely gonna be something where it's, I don't know, 60, 50, 60 degrees Fahrenheit, maybe 70, and you wanna wear a coat. That's kind of how it's giving. It does have like a lining in it, but you know what's one thing I'm noticing is I don't see like a waist tie. I, I don't see one at all. So I don't think that this has one, but again, this is like such a fun piece that I feel like with like a band tee or something like that, like super cool. Or if you wanna like mix and, and match some patterns, I feel like you could definitely, I don't think that's what I'm looking for. But if you're going for like that mob wife aesthetic that's kind of like popular right now, I feel like this, this could give that vibe. Definitely like a million and one ways to style it. The material feels very, very soft, very good. I'm not noticing a ton of shedding, so that's, that's really nice. Okay, so moving on, I believe this is a set. So I kind of think like this is like a cover up set if I'm not, if I'm not mistaken. So yes. So this is like more of a beachy cover up set and it's a little bit see-through. So you'll wear it with like your, your bathing suit. I think you have to be careful if you're gonna wash this, it's gonna be on delicate because you don't want like any snagging in the detailing, but the detailing is very, very pretty. I like like the ruffled ends. And then it does have a top with it. Okay, so the top is like a mid-dress top. It's definitely giving beach vibes. All right, what is this? Oh, okay, so these, I believe, they're either pants or a skirt. I think it's pants. 
Um, I wanted to look for um, some faux leather pants. I wanna say this is a wide leg like cropped pant, if I remember correctly. I'm not getting any smells. So it does have two like faux pockets in the back and like a button and a zipper on it. The material feels nice. It feels high quality. The stitching is looking really good, but I feel like these paired with the booty also super cute, fun outfit idea. Okay, now moving into the home decor, I wanted to get like some pillowcases in here for like more spring vibes. And I feel like these are such a cute like pillowcase. When I saw the reviews and saw when people stuffed them, they actually looked really, really beautiful. The detailing was really pretty and they just scream spring. Like look how pretty this is. I love the detailing on it. It looks stunning. I thought it would be really pretty. I don't know if you can really see it, but I have like the Ikea, like it's like our coffee mug thing over here. And I feel like this is like a very similar color. It's a little bit brighter than that. That's more teal, but I still think with all the greens and the colors in here, these are gonna be super cute for spring. So I actually ended up picking up two of them for that couch. And the quality is really good on both of them. I think there's like three different sizes you can choose from. So I'm gonna have to get um, some pillowcases to go inside. Okay, sorry, I know I kind of moved you, but I needed to change the camera battery, but also get a pair of scissors. So for the next item, I wanted to get some new measuring cups. And I saw these all over Timu and they finally got me because um, for our dogs, we always measure their, their food with like a measuring cup. So I always have like a bunch of measuring cups missing from my set. So I just wanted to get a new set. And honestly, ours is like a gray, like plastic set. So these are actually way more beautiful than the ones I have. So it comes with measuring cups as well as like the little measuring spoons. And they look really pretty. Each one is like kind of wrapped. I think so they don't they don't scratch up. And then on the inside it says like what what each one what each one is. So one cup, a half cup, a third cup, and an eighth cup. And then over here you have like the tablespoon, a half tablespoon, a teaspoon, a half teaspoon, and a quarter teaspoon. And so they just sit like this again with the ring. And then I also got this one. Now this one I'm a little bit surprised. I thought it was gonna be bigger and it wasn't and that's like this humidifier so when i saw this apparently it's like not just a humidifier but it also has like like colors like lights and it's supposed to look kind of like flameless at least from the photos that's what it looked like so the one i got isn't black it's actually white i'm not exactly sure how you work it it does have instructions i'll figure it out and i'll show you on camera what it's actually supposed to look like but it does have like a max line so i'm guessing you put like water and you plug it in so from what i'm noticing this button actually can control the light so you can have it like this where it's changing the light color or you can keep it to like just one standard light color. Um, and then there's also like the power button as well as a timer button. So you can have it on a timer for one hour, three hours or five hours. I'm sure it looks a lot cooler at nighttime than it does right now, but unfortunately daylight's all I have, but I'm actually super impressed. Now, obviously this is the back. Like when you see the front, the front doesn't have all the dials or anything. So it's really pretty. But anyways, that is everything I have for you guys today. Once again, I will have everything linked down below in the description box. If you did enjoy this video and want more videos like this, if you wouldn't mind giving it a big old thumbs up, pressing that subscribe button, and I will see you next time. Bye.